Release the Kraken! Welcome back fellow game designers. In our last one we went ahead and modeled our ship and in this one we're going to go ahead and do the UVs. Now before we jump in and start UVing away there is one thing that I do want to fix on the model and that is refining some of the uh, shape that we have here just to kind of clean it up. So right here you can see we have this cut but that doesn't really help define the shape. This would be a lot better if it were just merged to this point. So I'm going to do that. Make sure we have uh, Object X Symmetry on. So hit the drop down, make sure that's on. And then go over to the Merge Vertex tool, it's right here. Uh, it's also called the Target Weld tool. So go ahead and grab that. And I'm going to adjust my angle and I want to merge this point to that point. So I'm going to go ahead and click and then drag. And that should merge it down. And that's a lot cleaner. Okay, looks pretty good. I hit Q to get rid of my tool. And then I'm going to go into Object Mode jump into the channel box here. We can turn off our reference images. We no longer need this. So I'll just hit the V over here. Let's go up to modeling and then go to UVs and then UV editor. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to uh, create and I want to take a uh, planar projection from the top. So go over to the uh, options here. Make sure we choose Y because that's the top. And I'll hit project. And here is my uh, ship projected from the top, but we happen to have UVs on the top and the bottom in the same space, which we can't do. So we want to make sure that we separate this. I'll go into edge mode here. Let me go ahead and grab the edges of this. So right along the main edge, just double click. And I got two of those. I'll hold shift. I'll double click this one. And you can see that it went through here, back, and it went all the way through on this back seam. Very good. If yours did not, just make sure that you go through and hold shift and then double uh, double click or just single click and make sure you get this entire edge. And you can see this edge all the way around. That's very good. And now I want to split this. I'm going to go over to my tools here. Um, I'm going to go down to cut and sew and then choose the cut option. When I do that you'll see that this gets a highlight and if I click out it has a very nice white highlight. Go to UV mode and then double click on one of your UV sections. Let's go ahead and click it. Press W and then you can separate your two halves. So go ahead and do that like so. So we have our top half and our bottom half. Okay, now that we have our UVs, we do want them to fit on this box. You can see this box here with the red and green line. This is our 0 to 1 coordinate space. So this box here, 0 to 1, uh, 0 to 1. So this box has to have all of our UVs in it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Okay, so what I do is go ahead and maximize here. And I'm going to grab the middle of the scale, make sure I have both uh, UV sections, and then grab the middle and then scale it down, and then W to move it, and I'll go ahead and move this one to about here. Let me see if I can get this one on here. I'll double click it and move it so it fits about here. Very good. We want to take up as much space as we can, but we have to be inside these lines here. Okay, and we don't want to overlap, so don't you don't want to do something like this because that would be bad. So um, something about there is pretty good. Yay! So I have my top and my bottom. Let's go ahead and select them both. I'm gonna go up to image and then come down to UV snapshot. This is gonna take a little picture of our UVs for us. Go ahead and just drop this into a folder here. And call this um, Space Invaders uh, Ship uh, UVs. And then I'm going to choose PNG for my format. And then 2048 by 2048. Pick a color for your edges. And then hit Apply and Close. Once you do that, go ahead and open Photoshop. Okay, uh, go ahead and hit Open. And then we want to go to the default folder, which is Documents, Maya projects, default, and then images. And we will look for our space invaders uh, ship UVs. Open. 
right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and name my file. This is going to be my UVs. And we do want to work non-destructively. So I'm going to come down uh, to this little yin-yang symbol here. I'll open that up. Add a solid color. Whatever background color you like is up to you. And I'll set that on the bottom. And to do non-destructible editing, I want to just make sure that I'm using layers to my advantage. So I have a background layer, I have my UV layer, those I can turn on and off. And on the UV layer, I'm going to go ahead and just make it easier to see. I'm going to double click the layer on the side here. Go down to stroke. I'm going to choose outside. And then a thickness. Now my graphics card is not uh, working with Photoshop very well right now, so you're not going to see much of a change for the line thickness for me, but you should see it for you. You go ahead and just set this to normal. And there we go. So you can see we are pretty good. And I, okay. So now that I can cleanly see my shape, it's time to add the color that I want to have. Now what's really cool about this is it's like painting. It's like the opposite of painting in a, in a coloring book. You can go outside the lines without having any issues. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call this one um, ship color. And in my ship color layer, I'm going to paint on the ship color. So I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to do like a metallic, like gray. That's good. And I'll grab my paintbrush. Like so. And I will paint this on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just make a brush a decent size. Go ahead and right click. Decent size brush. And I will just roughly paint over my UVs. Again, I'm painting on the color layer. I'm not painting on the UV layer. If I move my color layer below my UVs, you can see the UVs are still there. Okay, and I can turn those on and off. If you can't turn them on and off, Control-Z, make sure you use a second layer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just fill this in very rough. You can be as precise if you like. If you, you can even set this as your background color if you really want to to like save you some time. I'm just going to go ahead and just paint this in. And I'll do the same thing on this side. I'll paint this in. Try not to miss a spot here. Okay, so now I have the rough outline. Again, I can go outside the lines, that's okay. I want to then paint on the color for this little uh, diamond shape. So if I go back in, turn my references back on, you can see I have this little blue like diamond shape for the window. I'm going to paint that on. Um, I'll make a layer. I'll call this one window. I'll come down to my shapes. I'll grab a rectangle. Let me set that to uh, the stroke. I'll set that to none. For the fill color, I'll hit color. And I'll pick a window color, something like, like a light blue. And then I'll draw the shape on. If you hold down the shift key, it'll, it'll be like a very crisp box shape. Hey, hey. And then if I zoom in here, you can see the little circles. If I drag those out, I can make those very pointy, like so. And then I'm going to bring my mouse over to where you see this little curved arrow. And then I will hold the shift key and drag. That'll let me snap rotate to get this kind of diamond shaped. Awesome. Grab the move tool. And then control T. That will... Um, if you get an error, just hit OK and try again. I'm going to hold shift and drag the outside a little in some so I can get this squished to like a diamond. And then I will center that on the ship right about there. Try to find the center. You can also use the arrow keys to kind of nudge. All right. Looks pretty cool. I'll hit the checkbox. Let me turn the UVs off. And then I will save this. File, save. Uh, save as. And I'll call this one uh, ship underscore texture. And then this is going to be a Photoshop file. So I hit save. And then save. 
And now I'm going to save out the target file. So I'm going to go to File, Save Copy, and then Photoshop, go to Targa. And we want to save this as a Targa because it's a little bit smaller than the Photoshop file as far as the uh, file size. So um, I'll grab that, make sure it's the Targa type, and hit Save. And then um, 24 bits good, I'll hit OK. Come back to Maya. Let me go to object mode, and I'll go to rendering, and I will pick a color. This time I get something that's kind of metallic. Uh, this one looks pretty good. That's a blend. I'll go ahead and grab that. And I'll click and hold on the arrow here. Go all the way to the end. Might take a second because there's a lot of stuff that we did. Go to the blend. I'll call this uh, ship texture. And then I will locate my target file. So, color, go to the folder. And there is my ship. Um, there is the Photoshop file, and there's also the target file. Um, you can load either one, but the one we're going to bring into Unity will be the target file. So that's the one I'm going to use. I'll hit open. And there it is, rendered on the ship. And you can see that this is slightly out of place. Right? It's a little bit too far back. But that's why we're doing non-destructive editing. I can go back into Photoshop here, and I can grab my window shape. Let me turn my UVs on. I'll grab the window, grab the move tool. And then I can use the, the arrow keys to kind of nudge this forward. And I'm going to go forward about this far. And then I can turn the UVs back off, and I can resave. Make sure we save out our target. So save copy, and then hit the target file. Let me locate my ship texture. There it is. I'll save again, and then 24-bit. I'll come back into Maya, and then if you select your ship, it should auto-update. If it doesn't, you can go into the material and just click the M. And now you should see the window auto-updated, but it's in about the right spot. And actually, I kind of like the way this is bent here. So that works, kind of works out. I can move it forward a little bit more. So I jump back into Photoshop. I'll turn my UVs back on. And I'll grab my window, grab the Move tool. And I'll just use the arrow keys to nudge this forward. I'm going to line up uh, the edge of the diamond there with the line there. Looks pretty good. Turn the UVs off. Make sure we save it again. Don't forget to save the target file. So get my targa, get my file, save, yes, 24-bit, okay. Jump back into Maya, update the picture, and there we go. That's pretty close to what we're looking for. Hey, awesome. So now that you've made my ship, go ahead and make your own ship, and I shall see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Misty and I both thank you. Mm. If you enjoyed that video you just watched, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Also, we're at 1,400 subscribers. Woo! If you have any uh, suggestions for future videos, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And if you want to keep up with me on Twitter, it's uh, BruceRF1. Uh, that's also in the description. And if you want to support the channel, make it easier for me to make content for you, check out some of my merch or um, one of my books. But yeah, all that, again, is in the description. Check it out, and I shall see you next time.